Hello everyone, this is Daniel Glenn, and recently a client asked me what happens when they receive a SharePoint access request email and they click accept. What happens to the permissions? What does that person get uh, that, a that requested the access? So I thought it might be good to record a video real quick and show exactly the process, uh, what's going on behind the scenes. Let's take a look. If you have been using SharePoint for any time, you've probably seen this screen where you log in, you try to access a site that you don't have permissions to. As long as the uh, request access setting is turned on, then you're going to get this page. And you can add a, you can put in a message here to your, um, uh, to the person who's going to receive this saying, I'd like to have access and then request access. And you click this button and whoosh, off it goes. And a um, and the person who is set up uh, or a group that is set up to receive these requests gets an email. Uh, so I asked uh, one of my users to do this. And here's an access request from Sarah. She's trying to get to a site. Uh, let's turn on zoom it so we can see here. You can see that it the email here shows um, that an action is required that someone and the user here is Sarah has asked for permission to the team site here and then it even has a URL to that team site so I can see what it is but what's key here is this uh, little phrase here it says requesting edit permission um, so I thought that was very interesting because if you think about requesting access to a site, what are you really requesting? Are, are you asking to be able to edit, giving your, you know, asking for contribute rights, or are you just wanting to view it? Uh, who knows? This is by default uh, asking for edit permissions. And you might also notice that this looks a little bit different. This email looks a little bit different than what the email used to look like uh, when receiving these access requests. Well, uh, the actual email is below. So if you click this show original message, you actually get to see the email. See, Outlook is being creative here and being smart and trying to present the information to you in a better way. Well, if you click this approve button, then uh, you're not taken to the website in SharePoint. It actually does a web call and gives the permissions uh, immediately. So you don't really get to say what you want them to do. The person is requesting edit and you're going to give them edit. And actually, you're not just giving them edit permissions. You're, you're giving them contribute permissions to the site. It's not putting them in a group. It's just putting them in the for the permissions on the site, listing them right there. So I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But what I would like to show you is how do you, uh, instead of clicking that button, uh, approve, and it just going away and then having to clean up that mess, move users into SharePoint groups, for instance, how do you instead uh, manage these requests in a way that maybe you just want to give them view permission? Well, I clicked on this show original message, so I've got this message. Uh, if you click on accept, notice it doesn't say approve, you click on accept, it actually loads the access request uh, SharePoint page. Now this is going, this is the page where it lists all of the users who have requested access to your site. But it has a little dialog box pops up here saying, do you want to approve this request? Well, this again, you can click approve and it will give the user who's asking uh, for these permissions edit permissions. So if you click approve, that's what you're doing. But look, we have an X or we have a cancel. So let's click the X to get rid of this dialog box. And again, we're looking at the access request page. You'll see here's the request that I just got the email for. And, and if anybody else had requested access, they would all be listed here too. I can click approve again to give edit permissions. But what I wanted to highlight is you can click the dialog to open up the dialog. And now we actually have some options. We have the permission option here. So we have a drop down, and then we have option uh, to have conversation to, to respond to this access, to this request that uh, the user has sent to us. So we can open up the doll, the the box, and now we see access 
to, or we have access to select from SharePoint groups uh, as well as permissions directly. So we can say, uh, for instance, we can give read directly if we wanted to or contribute. But here you'll also notice are the SharePoint groups that are already on the site and they have already been given permissions. So the visitors has read, owners full control, members has edit. Well, I wanna actually give this user um, read, but I, I don't want to give them directly access. I wanna just put it into visitors. So I would select team site visitors, and then I can type in a message and click send, and then click approve, okay? So this is getting us back to kind of why I wanna do this video. This is where I think most people, when they're ac requesting access to a site, I believe most people are gonna want read because if they're wanting contribute rights, then they're probably already a member of that group or a member of that team and have been given access. Maybe not, so sometimes they do need contribute, but I don't like them being directly given access as a contributor onto the site. I'd rather them be put into a group. So I still like doing this way, even if you want to give them contribute, but you know, go ahead and select a group that has contribute rights. Um, the team site members, for instance, has edit rights, which is a little different than contribute, but I won't get into that right now. So to kind of prove it though, of what happens behind the scenes, I am going to, um, we're going to go to the permissions of this site. So the permissions of the site here, you'll see here are the, uh, all the groups that have permissions. I'm gonna go back to the email and then I'm gonna click this approve button. See, where it says working on it, no open, no uh, website opened, uh, no dialog box, it just made that call, done, right? So now the email says request is approved and it shows who approved it. Um, so let's go back to the site, refresh. And you'll now notice that Sarah is listed here. She's not been added to a group at all, and she has contribute rights, okay? So again, this is where I think we, when we are receiving these access requests, I think the best method for managing these are either, as you saw me do, click the, um, the show the original message and then click accept there so that the page, the access request page loads or go to the site itself and access uh, the access request page from site settings. You, there's a link there and access all and look at all your requests there and manage them individually. Um, again, it, but if you do want to add people directly to your site, to have contribute and not be part of a group, then you can go ahead and accept, uh, click that approve button in Outlook. So thank you very much uh, for watching the video. I hope it was informative. Uh, reach me on Twitter or my website, danielglenn.com. Have a great day.